G'day folks, this is Rich Burdess from Datacom Christchurch, New Zealand, just with a, a little, hopefully quick, quick saving tip for um, anyone that wants to sort data that in an alphabetical or, or other order um, that's different to the ID column that you might have. So generally when you create a, a data source, so this one here is people's names, um, it's thrown in randomly, but obviously this is from SharePoint, uh, but a SQL will be the same with the, basically an ID allocated, and then you can put it into a gallery, um, and then it's all going to show, right? So what I've got going here, but the default view of the gallery will be the order that the data source has it in. Okay, so for, it's basically go, always going to come out one, two, three, four, five, rather than Anna, um, and the next person that begins with A. So what I've done um, for this gallery, um, we'll do the gallery first and I'll th show you how you can do drop downs sorted A to Z off your data source as well. So this one, data source in the gallery, on page load we set a variable called gal sort to default. Um, and so therefore we're just doing, this is Death Star Client says the name of the data source and then ID and ascending. If the variable called gal sort is set to A to Z, which is by pushing this button, um, then we sort the clients by title and ascending. And then opposite way around, basically if it's ZA, we do the same through title and then descending. So to play that for you, um, pushing Alt, and waiting for that data source to change, there we go. So everything went to A to Z, and then if I do it on the gallery, for Z to A, then I get that as well, right? So I've only got a few hundred, oops, a few hundred um, items in this source. Okay, so that's that's cool. Um, you can see things. Um, you could easily filter based on, or sorry, sort items. Whereas this one here is, so I've got this data source, say, in my SQL or my SharePoint environment or my CDS, um, and I want to show it in a form. And if I just grab this data source and put it into a control, I'm going to get it listed in the ID order. So that might not be great if I'm looking for Steve or something. I'm, I'm, you know, I need to go through each one to look for him. Um, I don't even know if there's a Steve in this one, but let's pick a different name like um, Sarah, right? So it's lucky that it's there on that one because I can see it straight away, right? But if it wasn't on the very first amount of items, I wouldn't know to go up or down to do it. Um, so there's a couple tricks you can do for that. The other question or the the question I get asked a bit is I don't want to have the first person's name or the first item of the data source showing as the first um, choice in this drop down right so if you pull the data source direct from SharePoint then it's going to be empty um, but if you're pulling it from SQL then it might not be right so to, to do that you need to build a collection of the data source so what we have here just to show this and I'll show you how we make them um, is basically a select I think that doesn't exist in the data source. That's just basically part of a collection. The first item in the collection that says just select that. And then I have the data source, right? And I'm looking for Sarah or I'm looking for Martha, right? So I'm looking for Martha, say, I can't find it. So I've got to scroll through, look for everyone. So that's cool. I've got an option which means that the very first person in the data source isn't going to be always selected if I accidentally um, just submit a form without changing the value so I can set you know if is the value of this drop down um, is, is the value of it select DS rentals client um, and if it is then I could fail a validation right so they couldn't submit the form until they, they actually selected something but then on this one here same deal but I've sorted the same data source um, A to Z so I can find Martha or Sarah in here as, you know, in a in a nice easy way. So, yeah, I've got to scroll right, but I know I, I know where it's going to be in the list. So how do you do that? So the data source for all these is just um, up in here. We can see it's a a collection, right? And then the collections we can view a collection from the collections item. Uh, that's the SharePoint list coming in, and you see the sort order for DS clients one is in the order um, that it comes in from the database, whereas for DS clients two. I've got it coming in alphabetically. So it's a really easy bit of code or formula uh, to make that happen. I do this on um, on start, basically. So it's a it's one line of, of formula text to make that happen. So the first option, so I create, so creating collections. The first item to get to show yourself um, 
an option that isn't part of the data source. You basically do a clear collect, name your collection, name the column that you want to have that value in. This one's DS, select DS Rentals Client, and then collect the rest of the data source into the same DS Clients one um, collection. So that's the that's the SharePoint list Death Star Clients. Okay, and said so that will bring in the order of all of the items in the order that comes from the data source. Whereas this one, number two, um, does the same thing at the start. So I get this um, you know, placeholder text at the start, and then I do my collection and I add in a sort, just like on my gallery, right? So I can put a I can put a sort into a collection as well on creating of it. Um, so then I can sort my data source, so Death Star clients, by title ascending, and then that will build me a collection um, that is A to Z, and will just work as I expect it which allows you know, all those various things. I can check that someone's actually selected something and I'm giving the user a good experience where they can see um, items listed alphabetically rather than having to search for individuals. So just show those again. Um, the button, basically to change, to have a button to do something, it's basically just set the name of variable and then the variable type and then in gallery I'm used to use coordinate variable and then if it's A to Z then do the sort dynamically so simple as that I hope that's helped um, I often have this issue at work where they need a placeholder and then they want something alphabetically and it's just a really easy um, fix based on your data source to always have a consistent experience so I yeah, hope it's helped um, any questions just ask away thanks